Guys, uh, congratulations. Not to belabor the comedy question. Thank you. Not to belabor the comedy question, but do you find that people find a lot of laughs in your show? Yes. Yes. I think there are some good laughs. And if you disagree, no, I think the show is true to life, and sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it's real, and what we try and do is tell a real story. And the show is roughly a half an hour long, and that fit in the box of a comedy. But we want what we want to do is tell the truth and make people feel things. And if they're laughing or crying or having a reaction, we can't control how, what happens after that. We can just do the best job to tell the best story. Okay. Also, don't you think like I mean the things that were like did so well tonight between like Succession and Beef and our show? I feel like these ideas about comedy and drama are a little bit outdated. You know, we get bunched in, we get into comedy because we're half hour, but I don't know, we're, we're all just trying to sort of reflect the mess of, of, of being human, and uh, which is deeply hilarious, and you know, and, and we're all suffering. The labels have kind of blurred. Very much. Yeah. You're gonna do the first row here on, uh, right there. All right. Congratulations. Uh, I actually think the bear is very funny, uh, and I wanted to ask about, on set, some of the scenes that come to mind that brought you much joy, or that you laughed filming. 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, in the second season, when Maddie has his face in the cloud. Also, Maddie talking to uh, Maddie talking yeah. to the. Uh, when I, yes. oh, when, when, uh, when I got Carmi to say, uh, I love you, I love you. that was his first I love you, and, and I think Jeremy didn't like it because I got really looking into his eyes. Of, there was yeah. a lot of like locking eyes. Also in the first season, when we get the C. Yeah, like that's, so, yeah, oh, yeah. so when we get the C, when that, those, those, we're, those are serious circumstances, that's like full <clears throat> drama, but I think when you play things, uh, you know, for keeps, and the circumstances are kind of wild about, wild about like getting a C, nobody wants to take ownership of that C, it becomes pretty funny. Right. I hope it'll help. There's, there's an actor who plays Ted Fack, Ricky Stafari. Every time he's in there, I laugh my ass off. Hey, Ricky! 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 Uh, one question here in the back row and the right hand side. To your right, for anyone, uh, what does the show still have to achieve? Because clearly, you're getting all these accolades, and you'll continue to get accolades for years to come. But is there something that still needs to be done with the show as it continues? Because you're at this high, and you know, you want to keep it there, of course. And it's in a, you know, this is season one, right? You've all seen season two, so you know this didn't feel complete for us because Chris wasn't here. Um, he is an amazing guy, and uh, sadly he wasn't able to share this with us. So until he's here uh, on our side, accepting these, it does, to me it doesn't feel complete. Yes. We'll take uh, another question from our virtual press room. We'll go to uh, Daniel Trainer of The Messenger. Hey guys, how's it going? First of all, uh, congratulations to everybody. Uh, I actually I have a question for Io if I can. Uh, listen, I love your uh, performance on this show so much, but I think I enjoy just as much your letterbox account. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm curious, now that you're attending so many more of these ceremonies, Io, have you had any sort of potentially awkward run-ins and interactions with people who you've sort of listed on your, your letterbox? Uh, I'm a comedian. Um, anything I say online, I think I would say to somebody's face. Um, also, I have a letterbox because I love movies, I love TV, I love this industry, and I know how hard it is to make something. I respect like everything that's ever been made. Um, and no, my dad also has a letterbox. He's here, so you know he's popping off. He's networking right now. <laughs> yeah. Let's stick with the virtual box room and go to uh, Cynthia Hudson of Aspiring Magazine. Hi folks, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I have a lot of bright light on this is with Leo. Take the pillow away. Is this me? Yeah. Okay. It's not your fault. It's just like you sound like God or something. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> is there was is there a question? Yeah. Okay. So people want to make sure that if I had gone part of you that I would congratulate you. People from Bill Chess and that. Oh. Ooh. Thank you. Wait, what's the question? You can't Oh, something nice things. I'm so sorry. I literally might be deaf. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Just say a thank you back to them on that day. I'm so sorry. What? Yeah, Cynthia, you want to jump I'm so sorry, but I can't hear you. Dorchester. Dorchester. Just say, like, what's up, Dorchester? Yeah. That's, that's okay, cool. If that's not what you said, and I don't even know where to look. Um, what's up, Dorchester? How's it going? Satin Hill. You know what it is. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> is that, are we, is that good? Oh my god, she's gone. <laughs> Thank you very much everyone, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>